as part of our Holy Week talks, I'm fortunate enough to have another character who was actually there. So today I've got one of the Roman centurions who was actually there at the crucifixion. I'll just go and get him. So yes, uh, I'm one of the uh, centurion soldiers that was there at the crucifixion. I've done lots of crucifixions. Yeah, believe me, they're not nice. Takes a long time to die, but they usually deserve it. Well, this one was different. This Jesus, well, he weren't in good shape when he arrived. He couldn't even carry his own cross. He had to get this guy called Simon to help him. Very odd if you ask me. And when we got there and I put the cross up, I had to guard him. Make sure nobody took him down. He said some strange stuff while you're up there. He asked his father to forgive us because we didn't know what we were doing. I was really offended. To start with, I didn't know who his dad was. And I'm pretty good at my job. I didn't think I needed forgiveness. And then he asked why his father had forsaken him. And then, you'll never guess what happened next. The sky turned black like a really bad storm was coming. And then I listened to the people around and they were asking, why can't he save himself if he saved others? Who is this man? And then at three, he shouted, it is finished. And he stopped breathing. I've never seen that before. And then I knew the way he died, the things he said, that he really was the son of God. There were reports coming from the city of lots of strange things happening. The temple curtain was torn in two and there were dead people seen all over the place. Can you imagine that? The clouds broke open and the sun shone through. I'm not surprised the saying is alive again. Nothing will surprise me now. Thank you very much for sharing your story. Very interesting. Wow, there's some interesting things happening. Keep watching and see what you can find out next about the Easter story.